Hello everybody, Leon's here. I just got here in this forest and I'm taking you to my favorite place. One of my favorite places. And uh, it's a beautiful place uh, where I want to vlog about my drone. I have uh, been using my drone for about uh, six months now and I think I have enough experience uh, to speak about it. So, to the favorite place. Winter is here. The only problem with the winter I have that uh, the sun is going too fast behind that behind that mountain. I live uh, 750 meters above sea level. Now we are around 900 meters, and uh, when the sun goes behind that uh, mountain. It's getting so dark that I can't shoot anymore, but I love winter. I love when the sn uh, snow falls. I love when everything's white outside and it looks different. It looks nice. Uh, it's good to live in a, a country where you have four seasons. You have everything. Uh, you have a nature around yourself which is uh, constantly changing and that gives you more opportunities to make uh, different shots. So I wanted to talk about this particular drone, it's the Mavic Air. I bought this because it can deliver a very good quality video, a full HD in 120p and it can make 4K videos too. It can avoid obstacles because it has sensors in front and the back and it's light. It's small, I can put it in my bag every time when I go uh, somewhere hiking or uh, do, doing some photography. There are some issues with this drone, uh, like this little cable here. This cable I got uh, with the drone, it came in the package. Uh, this cable uh, did some connectivity issues and uh, it is not good. It's very bad quality cable. I I bought this uh, normal USB cable uh, for my phone to connect it with uh, the controller and uh, since then I have no such issues like disconnectivity or something like that. If you watched my uh, video when I was uh, hiking up uh, at the highest lake in Germany, uh, I brought with me this uh, drone and I wanted to film how am I uh, hiking up there with my friends and uh, later I wanted to um, 
film that lake uh, on the top of the mountain. But uh, when when I was hiking upwards and making that video, uh, how are we hiking? Uh, the I had that connectivity issue uh, and it stuck in the midair. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't take it down. I couldn't control it and I lost uh, the big part of uh, the battery. Uh, it drained the battery and uh, when I was uh, up in the mountains where that lake is, I didn't have uh, enough battery to lift it up. And yeah, that was a big problem, you know. I went there, I wanted to uh, shoot something and I couldn't do it. Why? Because that shitty cable uh, DJI sent in the package. Uh, I looked in uh, YouTube and I'm not the only one uh, complaining about this cable. The second issue with this drone I had uh, that was the firmware updates. I like when uh, something new is, uh, is coming out, the new software for the DJI, maybe it flies better, maybe it's safer, you know, but uh, it was uh, Almost every day a new update and uh, I didn't know that uh, I have to update it almost every day and uh, I have to check it almost every day before I go somewhere in the mountains and I wanted just to fly with it and I had a new firmware update and uh, this drone uh, didn't let me fly with it and yeah that can be a problem too. Check out this shot when I was with uh, my wife testing the drone out and we had that uh, disconnectivity issue and uh, the drone just stopped it was uh, floating in the air and I pushed every button but uh, it didn't react and uh, after uh, a few seconds uh, it uh, flied by himself it uh, it the those signals which I was sending with the controller to him uh, after uh, a few seconds it uh, it arrived to the drone and the drone uh, started to fly by himself and uh, toward us at full speed and that was crazy that was very uh, scary check this footage out i have to do that calibration dance So, if you go in the menu, you go here where this little drone icon is and go down here. Here you have three charts, throttle up, down, rotate, left to right, forward, backward and uh, left to right. The standard values are 0.4, but if you want less sensitivity joysticks, then you have to type in values below that. I'm typing in 0.10 to have nice smooth motion with the drone. Next one is the gimbal. Go to settings, gimbal settings, camera gimbal advanced settings. I'm gonna put max gimbal pitch speed to 9 to make the camera move slower up and down. Gimbal start stop buffer to 20 so it uh, starts and stops lot smoother. And now watch the results.
so that was all my friends I wanted to show you how can you adjust uh, the settings uh, for your Mavic Air and to get more cinematic shots uh, it's moving much slowly it is not so responsive in the middle and uh, yeah just uh, go out there play with it uh, take some shots and uh, I wish you good luck to make some good shots so that was all for today it's uh, already very cold my fingers are numb the sun is gone yeah the sun is gone very fast the winter is here and uh, yeah I'm going home to eat something so till next time bye